Hey, it's Mike Rosso here, Film Photography Podcast. I host that, the radio show. It's on iTunes. It's on the internet, filmphotographypodcast.com. Do you know how many emails I've gotten in the last two, three months about the Polaroid Big Swinger? That's right, the Polaroid Big Swinger. It's like, hey, Mike, can you do a video about the Big Big Swinger? Swinger? Well, here it is. It's actually called the Big Swinger 3000, and it is the cousin, or I should say the offspring, the big offspring of the original Polaroid Swinger. The original Polaroid Swinger, this came out in the mid, early to mid-1960s. This was one of the first affordable cameras. It only shot black and white film, and it was 1999, back in the mid-1960s. Sadly, the Polaroid Swinger takes defunct Roll film, so you cannot get film at all for the classic Polaroid Swinger camera. But its offspring, its big baby boy, the Big Swinger, I'm happy to report, can take new Fuji film, FP3000B film. That's right. So here we have the Polaroid Big Swinger. First thing you need to know, let's open this baby up. If you're going to buy one, it's very important. If you look inside the camera by the lens, there are two AA batteries. So the first thing is, whoever you're buying this from, you need to make an inquiry. Excuse me, but are is the battery compartment clean? You want to make sure there's no corrosion or gunk or any type of corrosion buildup in the battery compartments because you do need the battery compartments for the flash to fire. Since we have the camera open, let's load this baby up. As I mentioned, this camera is sp- supposed to only take FP3000B film. It's black and white film made by Fuji Film. How awesome is that? Here in the year 2013, we could buy fresh Fuji Film for a classic vintage 1960s Polaroid camera. Amazing. So you would take your film very simply. Here is the uh, black card protecting the actual film. This goes towards your lens. This will snap right into place here. Listen. Look at that. It snapped right into place. Make sure that your tabs are out. Then you will just simply close the back of the camera. Close this as well. And now you have this sticking out, which is your black card. This gets pulled out very gently. You have to hold the camera firmly. And I usually brace it against my chest like so. And I kind of tug without ripping, kind of kind of um, like jostling it while I'm pulling it because we don't want it to rip. It rips very easy. Here we go. Listen. Oh, there it goes. That is the black card. Here's our first exposure. Now, with the Big Swinger all loaded up, ready to go, I have two fresh AA batteries inside the Big Swinger. I have my AG1 AG1 flash bulbs at hand. These are these, these peanut bulbs. Let's take a look. Look at that. Look at the size of it. You just want to pop it in your mouth, but don't. Now, these AG1 flash bulbs will pop right in the flash holder right there just pop right in one bulb at a time that's right now for says here distance for flash only so polaroid wants you to dial in the feet yep feet the amount of feet you are from your subject now joey k is behind the camera shooting this video he's about oh i'd say about 10 feet from me so i'm going to dial in 10 feet and I'm going to shoot a picture of G-O-E-K. One, two, three. <laughs> nice. And with this type of photography, you will pull out this tab. Okay, tab number one, which brings you to the actual picture. And you will pull out your actual picture. Here we go. Isn't this fun? It's unbelievable. Look at that. That's our picture. Imagine the look on the faces if you're at a party or a family get-together. Oh, look at that. Joey K behind the camera, shot with the Polaroid Big Swinger. Look at that. 
Now, if you want to shoot your big swinger outside and you're not using flash, this has the unique Polaroid Yes focusing. And when I say that, I mean you look through the eyepiece, and as you look through the eyepiece, you squeeze this red button and you turn it. And in the eyepiece, you turn it and a pattern appears. And when the exposure is correct, it says yes, Y-E-S. Unbelievable, huh? That's for outdoor photography. This is a wonderful camera. I highly recommend it. People have asked me, uh, Mike, can you shoot color film in it? Well, it's not really designed for the FP100C Fuji color film, but I have to tell you, I have tried it, and if it's blazing sunlight out, blazing sunlight, you can look right into the lens and use the what don't pay any attention to yes, just use the widest opening, as wide as you can get, and you could try to shoot some color. Now, I have achieved some success shooting color. I highly recommend you stick to the black and white. So let's look at some black and white shots that I've shot with the big swinger. My name is Michael Rosso. I host the Film Photography Podcast. Did you know that we have an online store? That's right. You can actually buy film for vintage Polaroid cameras right in our online store. We'd love to have you. And also, don't forget about the radio show that I host, the Film Photography Podcast. Twice a month, me and Matt Maras, John Fideli, and the rest of the gang, we chat up film like you would not believe. Believe it. If you believe in shooting this beautiful camera in 2013, in the year 2013, and you certainly can believe in shooting film. Have fun. Shoot some film. I'll talk to you very soon.